skeletal muscle has not had its moment yet, and in particular resistance training. You're not going to be able to be effective at maintaining a VO2 max if you do not have healthy skeletal muscle. Mm -hmm. You are not going to be able to be effective at nearly doing anything or surviving any kind of illness. The higher the amount of skeletal muscle mass you have, the healthy skeletal muscle mass, the greater your survivability against nearly any kind of disease. Remarkable. For example, cancer cachexia, which is the wasting that comes with cancer, kills 20% of individuals. Survivability comes from the health of skeletal muscle. Contracting skeletal muscle, releasing myokines, interfaces with cells of the immune system. We've all heard of macrophages and the cytokine storm, interleukin-15, uh, TNF, TNF-alpha as being uh, pro-inflammatory. When the myokines, which are also interleukin-6 and interleukin-15, are released from skeletal muscle, they interplay and they somewhat dampen the inflammatory effect and have a different effect on the entirety of the system when these, quote, cytokines come from skeletal muscle.